Good morning everybody. So I'm back and today I want to give him his best view we can possibly give him. Here's Nari. Oh, we've woken him up. <laughs> so he's just telling us off. But here is the little scrumptious ball of spikes. Give him a second and he'll come out and say hello. There you go, you can even see his tongue going. My hands smell very tasty today. So he's thinking about eating them. So today we are going to be learning about African Pygmy Hedgehog Care. But before we do that, we just want to announce that Nari is now part of our animal adoption packs. So you can come along and you can adopt Nari and get to meet him if you choose our gold package. Um, he won't be this fluffy when you meet him. He's still quilling at the moment. Uh, we will get into more detail about how um, important that is for him and how it can cause him to be a little bit upset occasionally. But he is now available with lots of our other animals at the centre, including Bo, our barn owl, and Bert, our blue tongue skink. So lots of new animals for you guys to come and meet once all this is over. So we are just going to recap on what your daily homework is. So, so you are to create a leaflet. So you don't have to do the animals we are showing you. You can do an animal of your choice. Uh, you could do a cat or a dog one, or you know, an animal that you might have. It might not be one that we're showing. Uh, a lot of people have leopard geckos. You could give them a go. Um, but we are going to teach you all about African pygmy hedgehogs and their very, very specialised care because they're a little bit unique and a little bit strange and they need that extra something just to make sure that they're having the best life that they have got. Okay, so we, we're going to consider all the five freedoms that we've been going through all week um, and we're going to see how hedgehogs are slightly different than everything else. Okay, and plus we're going to talk about why you would keep a hedgehog as a pet and why not you would keep a hedgehog as a pet. Okay, they're not for everybody, unfortunately. So we'll look into that in more detail. So we are going to move on to our five freedoms. So like we said, these are really important for you guys and your animals. You have food and water. Your parents make you eat apples, uh, which is really, really important. Uh, and they give you fresh juice and fresh water every Day. They don't expect you to drink from a bottle that's been sitting there a couple of days. It's the same with our hedgehogs here. So we give them a very, very specialised diet. You can buy very, very good hedgehog food from pet shops that people feed to wild hedgehogs in their gardens as well. However, that isn't enough for these guys. They are insectivores, so they need live insects as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to pop Nari back and let him play around in his little playpen and we're going to show you Faith. Okay. Little one. So Faith is our female hedgehog and she is available to adopt as well. Um, so we're going to show you how Faith eats her food if she wakes up today. She is covered in hay because she has hay in her nesting area so that she's got these lots and lots of insulation to help keep her warm because she is an African pygmy hedgehog. So we want to make sure that she's nice and warm. So in here we have some worms. Can you see them wiggling around? They're very big. Okay, these are Faith's favorite. So we're just gonna hold them near her. She gets worms four times a week. Okay, we don't wanna give her too many because they can be really, really fatty. Um, and we don't wanna give her too little because it's her natural diet. It's also enrichment for them because um, they would hunt for them in the wild. So we sprinkle them around their enclosure and they hunt for them. So it is enrichment for her. Um, they're very high in protein, so they help her keep her energy levels up. She's sniffing them out. She's found them. <laughs> OK, um, so they're really, really important, but um, just not that important to have them every day. She doesn't have to hunt for them in her enclosure like she would in the wild. So she can't have access to them every day because she will be a big chunk. Okay, and obesity is a very, very serious thing in hedgehogs. 
Um, also, she gets fruit and veg occasionally, so we mash up some fruit with some egg. Uh, this is just another source of protein because they don't have access to the same diet they would have in the wild. So there's lots of things we need to consider when we keep these guys in captivity or as a pet. Now, don't worry if you don't see your hedgehog eat during the day. They are nocturnal, so they are going to come out at night time to eat for food. Um, so if Faith doesn't want this, it means she's not interested in a midnight snack, which is completely normal. Um, it's only occasionally I thought we'd just go out on a whim and see whether we could get her to eat this very juicy worm for you guys, but I think she's gonna say no today. Okay, we'll pop the worms away. She's not interested, she's still very sleepy. So, we give them supplements in their water. They wouldn't naturally find this in the wild, but they'd find other supplements from the stuff that they eat. So we just need to honestly make sure that they have enough calcium in their body so they don't get metabolic bone disease, which Liam mentioned yesterday with our reptiles. It's the same with our hedgehogs as well. They also need extra supplement to keep their spikes nice and healthy. Okay, These spikes are made out of keratin, which is the same stuff your nails are made out of. Now, you guys drink milk and stuff to keep your calcium levels up. Um, hedgehogs are um, lactose intolerant, which means they can't drink milk. It gives them a very, very poorly belly. Um, so they have to have water with a dash of supplement in twice a week just to make sure that they get all the supplements they need. Okay. Very important. Are you gonna wake up? You can see her little face slowly showing. Slowly. <laughs> She's very adorable, but very sleepy apparently today. Come on, there we go. So that is our first freedom. We need to make sure they have the appropriate diet and they get to eat what they naturally would in the wild as well. Our second freedom is freedom from discomfort. So this is making sure that their enclosure is suitable for them. Now you can go to pet shops and you can buy indoor rabbit or guinea pig cages, which work really well. Um, or you can use a vivarium. It's entirely up to you. Um, however, you can get cages with mesh bars at the bottom that have got lots of little holes in. Please do not get them for an African pygmy hedgehog. They have very tiny legs and their legs would fall through the gaps and unfortunately it would hurt them. Um, so make sure that it's got a nice solid base and then it's also well ventilated so that they have enough oxygen and it doesn't get too dusty for them, okay? So that is really, really important. Now for bedding purposes, you can use multiple things. Uh, you can use fabric stuff like this. Um, we use these for when they go out on the road as part of our outreach to schools, um, but in their enclosures, they have wood chippings. Um, it's not as thin as Aspen, it's much, much thicker. It is, um, can't remember the exact wood, but um, it's not cedar because cedar is toxic to these guys if they get ingest it. Unfortunately, hedgehogs are likely to ingest a little bit of their substrate while they're hunting for them bugs, but they tend to spit it out. But if they were licking or ingesting cedar in any way whatsoever, it can give them a really, really poorly belly. Um, so you just need to make sure that the bedding you're giving them is um, really healthy. It's not going to cause any um, toxic stuff. Um, also, with these bags, they are hedgehog friendly, which means they don't have any loose strands. Um, but every day you should check your hedgehog to make sure they're OK. Now, moving on to our third freedom is pain, injury and disease. Hedgehogs are really good at hiding when they're poorly. OK, it's really hard to tell if they are in pain. So every day you should health check them. So make sure they've got no fabric wrapped around them. Make sure that they're eating a decent amount of food. Once you've had your hedgehog for a month, uh, you get to know exactly what food they are eating. Um, I've had Nari living with me just over a month and he is a gannet and he eats everything that I put in front of him. So you need to make sure you weigh everything out so that they're not going to get too heavy. Um, if they stop eating, that is a very serious health sign. So you need to go to the vets. Uh, if they stop rummaging around, then you need to go to the vets. Um, wheels are a really good indicator if they are rummaging because hedgehogs, unfortunately, are known to get poo paws, uh, which means they walk through their own poo while they're running on their wheel. 
Um, so if their wheel has pupils all over it, then you know that they've been nice and active through the night. If not, then give it a couple of days. And if there's still no pupils, that is a sign that your hedgehog is not feeling very well. Um, if it's less active, it means that it's not happy. Um, so that's another reason to take it to the vets. Um, they are susceptible to getting dry skin. This is because of the quills that come through their skin. Um, a way to help this is you can bath them in nice warm coconut oiled water or oat milk water. Um, and this just helps rehydrate their skin and it stops it being so itchy for them. Uh, we do this roughly about once a month, maybe twice a month, depending on how much they're quilling. Um, and then obviously you give them a good dry and put them back on their heat source. So hedgehogs need a heat source. They are African. They come from a hot country. Their ambient temperature should be no more than 25 degrees Celsius and no less than 20 degrees Celsius. Um, and they should always have a spot where they can go and curl up if they get too cold which is very, very important. Uh, it helps them digest their food. If you get too cold, you want to sleep all day, wrap yourself in blankets. It's the same with these guys. African pygmies are not supposed to hibernate. Um, they wouldn't naturally do it in the wild, so we try not to encourage it in captivity. Um, so if they do become less active, it means they're getting ready for hibernation and you want to turn the heat up as soon as possible with that because we don't want that to happen. Unfortunately, if some hedgehogs do go into hibernation in captivity, it's very likely they might not wake up because you're not adjusting the temperatures and they've just got so used to sleeping and lowering their body temperature and heart rate um, that they just drift off. So we want to make sure that that is not happening. Okay. Uh, weight management is really, really serious. Like I said, hedgehogs can become really, really obese. Uh, Faith here is the perfect size for a female. She's about 400 grams. Uh, we don't want her any heavier than that. Um, and they require a lot of exercise. So everyone thinks that these are just really cute. You know, you see the adorable pictures on the internet and you're like, oh yeah, they can't be that hard to look after. They are, they need lots of room to run around. Uh, giving them the wheel allows this to happen, but they also like to come out and about. Uh, Nori ran around my entire living room last night. It took me forever to get him back. Um, <laughs> but they are very active and they love to forage. They're big rummagers to so try and give them natural things that they can do. So freedom to express normal behavior, uh, that is foraging, so you know, give them fun. Um, give them plenty of enrichment. You can get a toilet roll holder, put it all up, make it into a ball, put some worms in it, and they have to roll it around to get the worms out. It may not be something they naturally do in the wild, but you are making them exercise for their food. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but also all over Facebook right now, there is a video of a hedgehog doing an assault course in someone's living room. Uh, none of the hedgehogs here do that, unfortunately. Uh, we're not going to train them to do circus acts. It would take us years to get that kind of commitment out of them. Um, but they are very adventurous. They all have different personalities and it generally decides on your hedgehog individually on how they act and behave. Uh, I would not advise anyone with a nine to five, uh, with um, no job to get one of these because they are sleeping during the day. You are not going to see them. Anyone with a newborn baby, don't think you want one either because they're very, very noisy at night time. Their wheels squeak no matter how much you put oil on it and stuff like that still squeaky. Uh, my dog comes and runs to me when the hedgehog is playing on his wheel because it makes a noise and it scares the dog because she doesn't know where it's coming from. So yeah, they can be very noisy. So you don't want to get them if you want a nice quiet household. Um, another way to allow them to express normal behavior is not by bothering them too much. They are cute. They are adorable. You know, they're scrumptious. I mean, like, look at her. She's just she just wants to sleep. You can barely see her face because she's an albino. But yeah, um, sometimes they don't want to be disturbed and they will tell you. The best way for them to do this is by huffing at you. Uh, and then if you don't listen, unfortunately, they might try and bite you. Um, hedgehog bite, very painful. Um, you don't think they've got nice, sharp, pointy teeth, but unfortunately they do. 
Um, if you have a hedgehog or you've ever seen anyone with a hedgehog or you Google self anointing on, uh, on the internet, uh, you will see them licking themselves and spreading themselves in this really nice scent. They want themselves to smell pretty, but you can also see the teeth coming through. Um, so they are very, very feisty teeth. And once they chop down, it really does hurt. So you have to be aware that they're not just cute and adorable animals. They are still wild and they do have a very wild side. Now, the last one is feeding from fear and distress. So this is ensuring that your animal is feeling safe. So you guys all feel nice and safe at home. You feel safe in school. If you are left alone in the shopping market, uh, supermarket and you are three years old, you're not feeling very safe because you don't know anybody there. Your mum's disappeared. Um, so we don't want these guys to feel um, unsafe. So if they start to huff at you and stuff like that, then maybe give them a couple of hours, leave them alone. These guys don't like to be active during the day, so try not to wake them up this early. You can see Faith really isn't interested. She fell back asleep. Uh, the best time to actually handle them is around eight, nine o'clock at night um, or early morning um, because it's still part of their cycle. Um, so 12 hours during the day when the sun's shining, you're not going to see them. But then 12 hours afterwards, you are more likely to see them being active, friendly um, and stuff like that. Nori refuses to come out in the morning, uh, but he pretty much demands to come out at nine o'clock at night. So you have to make sure that they are the right animal for you. Um, unfortunately, everyone thinks that it's great to get them just because they're cute like Instagram cute. You see these adorable pictures. Most of them pictures are posed. Hedgehogs do not read books. They do not type on computers. They poop on computers. Um, they are huge poopers. Uh, I spoke to a couple of uh, hedgehog owners that I know, and I asked, what is the one thing that you would like to know before you got your hedgehog? And they all said that they poo so much. Like they didn't know so much could come out of such a tiny animal. But trust me, it's never ending. You can clean it and go back an hour later and it's all there again. So unfortunately, big poopers, lots of cleaning up to do. Now, I would not advise getting a hedgehog for a child. They are very spiky and very prickly. Um, if they don't want to be held, they can huff and spike you and it can cause your hand to bleed. It can also cause a little rash. Um, so these are not a uh, pet for a child, unfortunately. Um, they're more for an adult, a hobbyist, um, or someone who wants to take in rescues. There is quite a few African pygmy hedgehogs in rescues. Um, because people think that they are Instagram cute, they buy them when they're about this big. And then, obviously, they grow to this big. They are huffy because they haven't been handled enough. And unfortunately, that leads them to be grumpy. And people just lose interest. Now, um, when they are this big, they have no quills. They grow their quills within three days of being born and then they start the quilling process. So the quilling process is when all the quills start to grow through. So the first set of quills that these little hedgehogs have are very thin and very tiny. But then they shed them just like dogs and cats shed fur and they will grow thicker quills through. So this thick quill has to squeeze through a tiny hole that the quill has originally gone through. And this keeps happening until they get nice thick spikes. So it's very irritating. Hedgehogs react to it differently per individual. Uh, some of them don't really feel it. They carry on with their everyday life. Uh, Nari here, he um, he did feel it. He was very huffy when he was quilling quite a lot. Um, you can handle them while they're quilling, but just be aware that it is very uncomfortable for your hedgehog. Um, handling is really important. You don't want to wear gloves when you do it because the animal has to get used to your smell. You smell really weird. Okay, these guys have a very sensitive smell. They sniff out bugs in the dark. Um, so they're going to try self anointing with your clothes to make them smell like you because it smells really nice to them. Um, but if you keep wearing gloves every time you pick him up and then you try with no gloves, he's going to be scared or she's going to be scared because they've never actually smelt you. They've only smelt the clothes. Um, a really good way to get them used to your smell is if you wear a top and then you put it in the enclosure with them. 
so um, that they can self anoint with it. They smell you when they're in their enclosure. They can try and make it smell like them. So you might want to change that top every few days. Um, but it's a really good way to get them used to them without actually overhandling them and stressing them out too much. So we are going to switch back over to Nari here. Um, here he is. So he keeps drifting off to sleep, but he'll come out and say hello again in a minute. Okay, so we don't want to overhandle Nari because it can stress him out too much. He is still quilling. Uh, he's got about one, two, about six quills that need to come through nicely. Um, so the best way to tell this is they are pure white just here. Um, it's really hard to show you on the video, um, but he does have quite a few white quills. Uh, once they are his normal color of this gorgeous brown with white tips, then he will be pretty much all done with the main quilling process. It can take around six months from newborn. Now he is only three months old, um, so he might quill a bit more. So we're just gonna keep him doing his daily stuff. He goes into his playpen every night and then he runs around my living room. He will come to me if he wants attention now, which is really good. Uh, and if he doesn't, he will huff at me and tell me no. Um, so as long as you know them, then you are um, aware of what your animal wants. These guys have a bunch of personalities. So you get some hedgehogs that like to be loners. They, do, they don't want to be bothered. Uh, and they will tell you, there's a lot of huffing in that process when they're telling you. Um, you get some explorers. I'm pretty sure Nari is an explorer with the amount of running he does around my living room. Uh, you can get uh, cuddlers who literally come up to you and snuggle into you and they love the attention. And you get huffers, which are these guys as well. Uh, we have Poppy here who is a huffer. And Faith is a cuddler. She's just too sleepy to show you today. Okay, so they're very adventurous little animals. And honestly, they're really, really fun to take care of. Uh, one thing that I do need to say, though, is if you do give your hedgehog a wheel, then it has to be a very large wheel. Try not to make it small. Try and find the biggest wheel you can. Uh, the smaller the wheel, the more health implications you get. So you can cause their spine to not um, heal properly. All the vertebrae will bend slightly when they're so young, when their spine is forming. Um, so you just want to make sure that you're me, uh, that they have enough room and they're not curving their spine when they are running okay so that is really important and okay it's okay little one he's still very sleepy we're just gonna leave him on the lap so we are going to do a quick recap so today we have looked at african pygmy hedgehogs so they're really good to have if you're passionate about them if you are awake most of the night and if you have the time for them they're not one of these pets that you know, you can buy, put in a viv and just feed them every day. They need the attention. They need the love. Um, and the bad things about owning them really is it shouldn't be done by a child um, just because of the spikes and the fact that they can be pretty feisty and they have a nasty bite. Um, if you do decide to get your child one of these, though, please make sure that you are supervising as much as possible. Um, they are very unique animals to keep and they require a little bit of ex uh, extra care. Um, today we have met Nori and Faith, so he's had his debut, even though he didn't want to come out and say hi, really. And neither did Faith, but I think it's just because it's a bit too early for them both. Um, and your homework today is to think about the care that's needed to take care of um, African pygmy hedgehogs. Or you can do British native hedgehogs. They're a little bit different. You can't keep them as a pet, but you can help out rescue centres. So that's maybe something to consider. Uh, any homework you create and post on our Facebook page uh, will be posted onto tomorrow's video if you get it in on time. And we will show them off to everyone and all your nice work. We are going to look at some of the homework that you guys have been producing this week. So we have homework from the Carroll family. And they did a guinea pig presentation. 
um, after meeting Maisie the other day. So they have all the really, really important facts on there that they're great company, that they need daily um, doses of calcium and fruit and veg. Uh, never give them lettuce because it gives them diarrhea. So well done, guys. Um, and they always need fresh hay every day. So well done. That's really good, guys. Um, so I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that's listening, listening at the moment. And also a massive thank you to anyone who has donated to our crowdfunder page. You are helping us take care of these adorable little animals um, while we're going through this really, really hard time. Uh, we have so many exciting new things for you to come and see once we are open again. So we can't wait to have the big opening and show you guys all these new wonderful and amazing creatures. Um, we are launching Bingo and our raffle, if you've seen it on our Facebook page. So a raffle is three pound per ticket. You choose a number, and then once we've sold all the numbers, the prize draw is a gold adoption package worth 50 pound. This is for the year, and you would get to choose the animal that you adopt. So it does not have to be a hedgehog, it can be an owl, it can be the makeup. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then we also have our bingo game going as well. So we are going to be playing that very soon. So for bingo, it's a pound a ticket and kids can play too. Uh, for a line, you get uh, some chocolates. And for the house, you guys get a £25 worth of animal experience with either the meerkats, the skunks or reptiles. It's 30 minutes long. You get to have snuggles, you get to feed, you get to ask as many questions you want about our adorable animals. So there's lots of things going on for us to help fundraise to take care of these guys. So if you have any questions or queries, uh, message us on Facebook, comment on the videos. We will get back to you as soon as we can. We've also got our Instagram page going now. So you can go and like that at zoo to you UK. Um, we're posting daily pictures of adorable animals at our centre and how they are coping during this hard time so that you guys can stay up to date with how all of our animals are feeling. So thank you very much for listening. You have been great. Um, if you have any questions about taking care of hedgehogs, don't hesitate to ask. We do not mind. And we will see you very, very soon. Bye.